here's how you add a transponder, scan a transponder, do manual PID entry. Press the menu key, go to install. If you're already on the satellite, it'll be highlighted here. Press the yellow key for transponder. Here's your transponder list of what's in memory for 83 West KU. Now, if I wanted to scan this transponder, press the red key. Right now I'd hit OK if I just wanted to do a, a normal scan to find everything. If it's something like uh, the CWs on Galaxy 17, where you need to do manual PID entry. Arrow down, type in the video, audio, PCR PIDs, hit OK to scan. It'll manually enter your your channels. Now to add a transponder, same menu, press the green key. Tell it the, the frequency, polarity. Enter a symbol rate. This is just a, a dummy transponder. FEC I just leave on auto, but you have every single option there. Now you'll notice the, the bars at the bottom. It'll be attempting to, to lock as you change parameters. You do have to tell it if it's DVBS or an S2, which is nice because you can figure out which is which, unlike a, an open box and other Alley uh, 3602s. Just flip here if this was a, a DVBS2. It goes through and, and it would lock now and you'd see quality. Once you get your settings correct, hit OK. Your transponder's added. We just told it it's an S2 transponder, so it's got that little yellow S2 logo next to it. And of course to scan it, press the red key. And go through exactly what we just went through before.